You never really know when you're making a sequel how much your character will be involved. So what was it like for you discovering that you are a huge part of this movie? I was in awe, but at the same time, of course, I'm so happy to accept this role as Gia and continue her. You know, now that Gia has an even bigger role, I'm in awe of it. Talk a little bit about what is it actually like being a star of a Godzilla movie? Because for me, that that would be amazing. I think it's amazing. It's such an honor to be able to be able to have this role and portray Gia. I'm hoping that it'll bring good future uh, opportunities for me. When you saw the shooting schedule, what day did you have circled because you couldn't wait to film something? I was excited to just be back, period. You know, being on set the first day is probably my day, I would say. I did the first movie when I was 10 years old, and now I'm so much different. What do you think would actually surprise a Godzilla fan to learn about the making of a Godzilla movie? I think it's surprising that Gia actually has to communicate with Godzilla too. They have to make that connection. So I think people will be in shock at that part because we're not used to seeing that communication happen with Godzilla. I'm definitely curious. Can you talk a little bit about, do you think Hollywood is getting better with deaf representation? Or do you think it is still um, a long way to go? I think it's hard to add a lot of deaf roles into movies. It's such a great thing that they're able to ask us as people of the deaf community and put us in these Hollywood roles. I think we do have a long way to go though because it's not a normal thing to have a deaf actor in a movie as it should be. But I think Hollywood is making great strides, but we still have a long way to go. I'm always curious, uh, what did you borrow from set that, uh, um, that you decided to keep home, to take home? I didn't borrow or take anything from set. If you get to do a next one, if you ne get to do this again, borrow a few more things. <laughs> what is it actually like watching the movie for the first time? Because I would imagine th this is the type of movie that you need to see the visual effects and you need to see everything come together to make it work. So what was it like for you watching it for the first time? What, what surprised you or what did you love? I watched it with my family, and when the movie start started, I had my mom sitting next to me, and her reaction was, I watched her reaction, and it was a little bit, she waited until the end to give me the reaction. Everything just came together. It looked so perfect and so smooth by the end of the movie, and it was just amazing to be able to see the work that they put into it. Thank you for your time, and congrats Thanks. on everything. Thank you.